Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, Mr. That's You, and um, we got a game review coming to you today, and it's Birds and Beans. And so, uh, let's see. I'll t I'll take you through um, Birds and Beans one quick. Um, it's in the Nintendo eShop for two dollars. I it's originally on the DSi. That's where I had it on, anyways, too. And unfortunately, um, unfortunately, I couldn't transfer it. So I had to buy it again. It's so worth it though. This game is actually really, really fun. It's it's kind of a otherwise known game as Pyro or whatever. It's in the bottom right there. I've never called it that. I just I'm just calling it Birds and Beans. So shit. because I'm not very comfortable or recording and playing. Can't really get you too great a footage. Okay, there I got a thousand. Oh yeah, the higher up they are, the more points you get. And I've got just this long ton, and you try to snag them before they hit the platforms on the bottom. Come on, come here, come here. Come to me. Ha! Ah! There she is. All right, there we go, and then the white ones, they restore some blocks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Come on, get that. Get that, bitch. Ooh. Oh, my God. I'm going ham. Not really. Yeah, get that. Get that. Oh, fuck. You bitch. Ooh. I'm missing him. I'm missing him. Come on. Come to me. Give me one. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. That's not fun. I need an all block. Yes, they're there. Woo! -hoo! Oh yeah, that is just a party. That is just a party when those things are sore. Oh shit! Mother! Mother! Oh! I always try to show you stuff, but you can see the background starts filling in all this stuff, and man, does it get crazy. Every there's like. Um, whatever, space stations, or satellites, there's like comets that fly by, it gets so insane and the music's crazy. Oh, it gets insane and then at one point, it, like once you get to like 20,000, it gets all calm. It's like black and white and it gets all calm, but it's still like just as crazy. And then after that, once you get to like 40,000, which is I've got to once, and that's on Birds and Beans 2. Oh man, it goes, it's like a disco crazy party, like LSD get you oh my god it's just crazy um birds and beans 2 you unlock shortly after you play birds and beans a certain amount of times or get a certain score or something i don't know this one you spit seeds and you you can see them on my screen but you can't see them on the camera probably oh there you can see them probably at the edge and you try to line them up this one it doesn't matter how high they are you just line them up all the way what okay that was just pathetic i'm sorry Let's try this again. Alright. You try to line them up. And if you get two in a row, you get 100. You get one, it's just 50. If you get three in a row, you get 300. And if you get four in a row, I believe you get 1,000. And that's each bean. Like, see how I shoot this one and get 50? If I line up two, I'll just demonstrate that in a second. Damn it. Here, I'll get these two. Did you see that it says both 100? So if you got four in a row, then you'd get 4,000 right then and there. And I've got that with like five before. Like that's how crazy it gets. And then you just get 5,000 right then and there. That's why you get high scores, 42,000. Um, I'm not sure which one you could consider easier, Birds and Bean 1s or Birds and Bean 2. But um, I don't know. They're both fun in their own way. This is like one of those games that you can just like stick in your pocket and just go play. It's just fun. Like you don't really get all into it like Heroes of Ruin or Zelda or anything, but it's just kind of a pick up and play fun game. If you really wanted to, you could just like spam, but then you wouldn't get as nearly as much points and it would just take forever. Oh God, that one should have been good. That should have been like four right there. That would have been great. Every time you get to um, 
5,000. That's when the sky changes. Just pay attention to the background in this game. Like, seriously, it's actually cool. If you get a glimpse, yeah, you're trying to, like, play and be all intense and stuff, but if you can get a glimpse, uh, I guess it's not nighttime. But if you can get a glimpse of the back, it's really interesting. These blinky ones right here, those restore and kill every bean on the thing. Those are just awesome. Those can be a lifesaver. You gotta look out for those. Damn. Why do I always die so early? I guess it's kind of hard to play on camera. Oh, and I'm always tilting it. I'm sorry. Oh. But, um, you can see the background right there. Oh, here, I'll bring it to you. Oh, there you go. It's kind of focused there. Oops. A little bit too focused. There, that's like how the background is. You can see the stuff starts filling in. Um, there's my high score. I got six, I got 6,000 there. And I've got 42,000 before, so. You can imagine how crazy that gets. So, um. Alright, that's my review of Birds and Bean. I'd rate the game out of 10. Oh, I'd probably give it. Uh, seven or an eight. Um, they need to. They could have some more like birds and beans, like three or something, or who knows. But it's fine how it is. It's definitely worth two dollars. Thanks for watching. See you guys.